Well, hello folks. We're out here having a beautiful fall day in Wyoming. I hope you're ready. Tamara's got a delicious recipe for you today. And here she is. Yes, good morning. Welcome to the life in Wyoming. Yes, I've been out harvesting my garden this morning. And yes, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel today. But as you can see, we did a wonderful year this year on our carrots and potatoes and onions and peppers. And what I'm doing today is I'm calling it Tam's Garden Meatloaf. And what I've done ahead of time is, is I have mixed up a pound of lean ground hamburger and a pound of this wonderful country sausage that we love. And I'm going to add to this that I've gone ahead, of course it's that time of year that the hornets are coming out and about. I have shredded here uh, one large carrot, probably about all, probably half that size, and a potato, a couple little potatoes, and some of my wonderful um, green peppers that I have in my garden. And of course, an onion that we finally chopped, and I'm going to be adding that to it. And I'm sorry, but this guy's got to get out of here. <laughs> That's why you have this wooden spoon. All right, I'm going to be putting this together, and I'll show you in a bit what we're going to do. Okay, here goes these wonderful onions, and boy, are these potent. And we finally diced these. Actually, my husband helped me this morning, and we got these all diced. And I'm just going to put half this mixture in, because sometimes I get a little carried away with my vegetables, and then it's hard to form this into a meatloaf. And then my spices are, that I've gone ahead and put in my little bowl here, is a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of garlic, and a teaspoon of tarragon. I really like that in this meatloaf. And you can either use a wooden spoon in your hands, and my hands are clean, and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this all together. And if I need to, I'm gonna add the rest of those vegetables. We well, hope you're enjoying this with us today. We would love it if you would subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment. And when you subscribe, all that does is it alerts you that every Tuesday we have another wonderful, fun video coming out. Yeah, I think this is going to be enough. And then what I've also done is I have whipped together a couple eggs. And I'm going to add that. What this does is it just kind of helps hold that meatloaf together. And we are going to do this over coals today, or briquettes, excuse me. We're going to do this over briquettes today instead of coals. Okay, that's mixed together real well. Now what I'm going to do is put this into a 12-inch Dutch oven that's very nicely seasoned. And I see I need to mix this together a little bit better here. And all you do is just shape this together in a nice roll loaf. Oh boy, does this smell wonderful. We're going to bake this at 350 for a couple hours. It takes a little bit longer because we've got all those wonderful vegetables going on there. All right, there you go. We'll be showing you what it's going to look like later and enjoy this with us. Thank you. Yes, and we do have a website. It's wyomingdutchovencooking.com. At that website, we have a guide to take care of your cast iron. And we also have a free recipe book along with some of the cooking items and spices and stuff that we like to use. You might want to check that out in your spare time. All right. As you can see, our meatloaf turned out absolutely beautiful. The last 15 minutes of cooking, what I did is I took some of my fresh homemade ketchup that I make for my tomatoes, of course, and I put that on top and let it bake for another 10 to 15 minutes, and that kind of glazed it. So that turned out great. We're gonna have corn on the cob from our garden, and of course you did see all my beautiful vegetables, and I put a lot of those in there today. 
And of course, you know what our motto is. If you watch our videos, it is great food shared with family and friends equals great times. Until we meet again, thank you.